Hi everyone, this is Anil. Welcome to part 3 of Vendor Risk Management video series. In this video, we will continue to look at Vendor Contact uh, and then we will also see Vendor Portal by logging into this uh, primary Vendor Contact. Let's get started. So this is the Vendor Contact record we were looking at. We made this user as a primary contact. Now we will check the user roles to see what roles are assigned. So there is a table called Sys user has role. So if you type user roles in the application navigator, uh, then you will get this module called user roles where you can navigate through the user roles. And I have filtered it based on this user called Shruti. And you can see that there are two roles which are assigned. One is SNC underscore external and there is vendor underscore contact. SNC underscore external indicates that this is an external user and then vendor contact is a role which is given to this user. Uh, so which also means that this is an external user versus the internal user. Now we will log into the portal to see how the portal looks like. But before we do that, we'll see what are the different portals available. So for that, we'll type portals here and then go to portals, uh, which will open up this page. And here there's a portal called vendor portal iframe scope. And the URL suffix is S, which stands for scope VDP vendor portal scope vendor portal. Then it has a theme called vendor theme scope. So now it is called vendor portal scope because in the previous version of VRM, there is a different portal which is called VDP, which is vendor portal. That is where it is called SVDP, which is the scope vendor portal. Now this is how this portal looks like. If you see here, it says good day uh, to that user who is logged in. In this case, it is uh, Shruti. And then with the vendor risk portal, you can review and complete assessments, risks, and tasks. That's what you can do in this portal. And you can see there are three tabs, assessments, issues, tasks. Uh, the page on which we are on is svdp underscore home. This is the home page. And then you have assessment summary. You have my company, the primary contact of the company, and engagements if there are any. And then assessment summary, you have two, uh, like there are two tabs. One is my activities and all activities. Here you can see assessments overdue due soon, issues overdue soon, tasks overdue soon. Right? So there, this information is available through all this portal which you've seen. And now uh, you can see that there are, I mean, like what are the primary contacts that are selected for this vendor? And then if you click on assessments tab, it will take you to a page called SVDP underscore assessment underscore list, which will give you all the assessments for this one, uh, for this, uh, which are accessible to this user. And then if you click on issues, it will take you to a page called SVDP underscore task underscore list and with a parameter called T is equal to I. And then if you go to tasks, then SVDP underscore task underscore list with a parameter called T is equal to T in a URL. Then you have FAQs. The page is SVDP underscore FAQ, which will take you to vendor portal FAQs. Here there is like question and answers, uh, which you can pop, which you can create so that if the vendor has any questions, then they can directly go and get the answers here. Then we look at an issue record and what states does it have. So these are the following states. There is uh, new, analyze, submit it to vendor. Uh, when you submit to vendor, it appears in portal. Response received, right? Uh, so these are the different uh, issue states. And similarly, like, on a vendor assessment, uh, these are the different states. So it starts with draft, and we have already seen this, but basically, uh, at each of the state, different actions happen. Right? Uh, but yeah, so this is a vendor assessment, this is the issue states. And uh, we will look at the issue record in uh, subsequent uh, uh, sections in the next video. So that's the scope of the video. We'll do a quick recap. We have seen a vendor contact record what roles are assigned to the vendor contact. You have impersonated as a vendor contact when you have logged into the vendor portal. And then we have also covered uh, issue states at a high level, which will continue in the next videos. Thank you. Thanks for watching. This is Anil.